What is up YouTube? It's your girl here, Miracle Locks, and I'm back with another video. And in this video, I will be talking about which best which method will be best for you when starting your locks. I am by any means no professional, but I have experience. Um I have had experience with having two strand twists, starter locks, and also comb coils. But I just wanted to give y'all my input on how it works for me and what you think might will be best for you so i would just get into the pros and cons of what may be good for you hold on thumbnail okay <laughs> okay so i'm going to start with um two strand twist first now the thing with two strand twist the pros of two strand twist is you got more styling options you can maneuver it more um, um, another pro is, um, also your hair is stretched out when it comes to two strand twists. I don't, I don't really have that many pros on it besides the fact because the cons of two strand twists would be like, okay, what I don't like about them is that it takes longer for them to look like locks and my two strand twists didn't start looking like locks until I made like six or seven months locks. Um, but I do like the two strand twist because it's put up in a ponytail, you can style it, so and so, and also you're gonna definitely have issues with unraveling, but, it, but it's like that with, um, cone coils and, um, stuff too. It's the same thing, like you're, you're gonna have unraveling on both ends, so it doesn't really matter. Um, cone coils, what I've started with, um... The only thing I don't like about them is that you can't you can't do too much with them like within the first month or two depending on your hair texture and how fast your hair locks and stuff like that. Me personally, um, I was able to wash my comb coils within the first month only because I did interlock my hair. And this is what I wanted to say about interlocking. I do both. In, in my opinion, I don't have a problem with them because either method can <clears throat> destroy your hair, whether it's retwisting or interlocking. But from my experience, if you interlock it right, you won't have any problems. Also, I also wanted to let people know, this is the thing with interlock interlocking that I noticed a lot of people don't talk about. Interlocking, y'all, it will understand, it will not stay small forever. It's going to make your lock look thin, but the thing with interlocking, it expands over time. It definitely expands over time. Think about it like this. People have get braid locks. It's basically the same thing. And when they have those braid locks, it takes longer for them to expand. But it eventually is going to thicken up and expand. But I do like the look of retwist. I kind of and then sometimes when I don't, when I get tired of retwisting my hair, I interlock it. But that's what a lot of people, that's what I did within my first month because I do need to wash my hair. My scalp is so itchy, but I'm gonna get something for that. But if you want the, uh, but if you are one of those kind of people that love to wash your hair, interlock it instead of getting a retwist and make sure whoever does it or if you do it yourself, do not do it tight because it's not supposed to hurt. It's not supposed to be done tight. And I do the two point rotation. So yeah, I go in up, down, and left, right. But like now, currently, y'all know that I've started with cone coils. But what I do like about cone coils is that they start to look more like locks faster than the two strand twists. So I, I got those instead. Even though I did my <laughs> I did my own hair, I maintain my own hair. Um, also, y'all, I went on ahead and retwisted my locks, but I just put this scarf on and I don't really wanna take it off. But I will. I can show y'all my retwist. I did retwist my hair. Because like I washed it and 
those hairs was like, oh my god, they were getting on my nerves. So I was just like, I'm gonna go and retwist it. Yeah, that's that's my hair. Um, but yeah, you know, you can start whatever you prefer first. But as you, I'm only two months in, and my hair already looks like locks. My hair is already locking. I don't know if it's because I colored it, probably. But I've been trying not to wash my hair as much and let it do its own thing as it's locking. But I have been just retwisting. I've interlocked two times within the first month, you know, just to because my hair was still slipping out and I didn't want any slippage. So that's what I did. So, yeah, you know, you can start with whatever you want to, whatever you prefer. Uh, but in my opinion, what to be honest, what is my what <laughs> I can't get my words out, but what was my favorite was the two strand twists because you can actually see the length and they don't shrink, they shrink, of course, but they don't shrink as much as comb coils do. Because, baby, when you get <laughs> when you get comb coils, sometimes you're gonna be like, dang, where my hair length go, you know like that so you could do whatever good for y'all so and also it's like that with retwisting or interlocking both methods are bad for your hair but as long as it's done right you're good so i've been maintaining my own hair since then i mean it's easy as hell why pay money when you could just do your shit yourself excuse my french but yeah i mean that was all i had to really talk about in this video it's not many pros and cons to them because some people make it sound difficult when it's not and having locks is to be honest is really easy as hell and the easiest thing to have people just i don't know they do the most with their locks like they have loose natural hair when they don't need to so that was all i wanted to come on this video and talk about just rambling giving y'all my thoughts on what I think about it so as I said I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks with my review unless I come up with something else to talk about but if you like me subscribe to your girl channel <laughs> hit that notification bell so you will be notified when I post another video and yeah I will see you guys later peace